a video posted on X on 30th September um, where the a lady videoing said they were picked during a raid by the police at the Lekki area of Lagos and lumped in a cell is still generating reactions across all social media. In the clip, you can see women, children and men uh, together in what the commentator calls a cell. In defense of their men, the Lagos Police Command Public Relations Officer S.P. Benjamin Hunday on his ex, his ex account wrote, and I quote, that is a holding area where they are visible to officers on duty at the charge room. Once they move into the cell proper, they are properly separated and they would not even have their phones with them, end quote. However, it appears Nigerians aren't buying this as the video has continued to generate more reactions. Uh, joining me on the news is the police public relations officer, SP Benjamin Huday. SP Huday, thank you for joining us. Um, give us some more clarification as to the difference between a holding area and a cell and why you think this distinction is necessary in this context. Okay, thank you very much for having me on the program tonight. So a holding area is where you keep um, suspects you've just brought to the station that are yet to be profiled and processed um, to, to separate those that have been found culpable and that will need um, further investigation um, and, and those that will be allowed to go because they have been found to be legit. And so uh, if you wonder that if you are yet to separate them, then why are they being restricted? Yes, that's because they are suspects. They are not just um, people who came to visit um, somebody in the station. That's why they are restricted. And, and, and because it's a holding area, we've not decided if they are culpable or not. That's why they still have their phones on them and have all their property with them. So the moment um, the interrogation, the, the, the processing has been done, and it is decided or, or discovered that they are actually culpable, they would be properly detained. This time around, their phones will be taken and they will be taken into a separate cell if they are male, the male cell, and if they are female, the female cell. That, that's basically the, the difference. Espel Day, I'm wondering how long they are meant to stay in the holding um, area because according to this video, the woman mentioned that they were arrested a night before. So she's suggesting that they spend the night in the holding area with other men and um, we can see in that video children as well. Okay, so so this this um, their arrest happened late at night between the uh, between eleven p.m. and um, twelve a.m. as a result of complaints from um, Lekki Residents Association about the influx of some people that are not residents flocking certain areas, especially on Admiralty Way, late at night, which they felt. Um, Pose a security risk. Um, so they were picked late at night, and um, the the screening would commence in earnest. So it's understandable that sometimes it spills into the morning. But um, latest uh, by seven eight, we, we, they should be done with that. And when she posted that video, it was um, around seven a.m. in the morning. And for the children, the the explanation is that they were found roaming. The police um, sort of rescued them from the streets and um, put them in protective custody, depending on the time their guardians will be contacted, and they have been um, so far handed over to their guardians. So those children were not under arrest. They were taken off the streets, kept there, and handed over to their parents. There are huge concerns as to whether there are protocols in place to protect the right and dignity of suspects in this case, especially if you have to spend the entire night in a holding cell with other suspects who, you know, by all means, can be hardened criminals. Sorry, I didn't but, get that question. Yes, I'm getting into the question per se, but I'm wondering how concerned the Lagos police is in ensuring transparency with raids of this kind. You know, many of the, of the questions the people are asking is, at what point did it become an offense to walk at night in Lagos? Yes, Espel Dayen, can you hear me? I'm sorry, I didn't get your question. At what point did what? At what point did it become an offense to walk in Lagos? Help yes, us understand the now. transparency behind this raid. Oh, like I said, it's, it's no ordinary raid. It's not a random raid. Um, we received um, um, repeated correspondence 
from um, Lekki Residents Association. We also received correspondence um, from Farm City. Uh, there's a, a place there called Farm City. They wrote complaining about the influx of people there. So the, the idea behind the raid was to go clear that place of um, undesirable elements and miscreants. And the truth of the matter is, anytime you could conduct raids, the likelihood, I mean, there's a possibility that innocent um, passersby would be, would be picked up too. So that's why we talk about processing. Uh, so once they get to the station, you now ask, um, you ask them questions one after the other, and those that are found to be legit will be allowed to go. So the, the raid right. was, um, that was done as, as a result of its necessity. Um, it was clamored for. And I can also confirm that after these raids, we've had these raids repeatedly like four or five times, um, the people of Lekki are so happy now that that place has been rid of undesirable elements. People pass there at night and there is no ugly sight and they are so happy about that. All right. So that, that was what called for the raid. We have run out of time, but what's the current situation with the woman in question? Has she been released? Well, she was released um, like... A few minutes after the video came out, All right. um, when I spoke with the DPO, the DPO had even released the lady before the video was eventually posted. So right. he didn't even, it's not like she was released as a result of the video. And all, all the children who have been handed over to their guardians and all right. every other person has been processed accordingly. So the uh, situation is uh, fine now. Police Public Relations Officer in Lagos, SP Benjamin Oday, thank you for talking to us.